Are you ready to begin? If you work with kids or adults or yourself, it's easy to fall into the trap that if I'm just this amazing trainer, then they'll become the hero that I want them to become. We're a little teeth. Me as the teacher who could still do it. You as the student who can do it just not as good. I'm proud of We oftentimes think of teaching or parenting kind of like this. Jector, do exactly as I say. 10 for Okay. Jump. Do a front flip. Do a back flip. What? Run, 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 run. Drop. That's an excellent listening. And if they do good, You're then right. we feel like this. I am super proud of myself for being such a good teacher, obviously. But generally when it's not like that, that makes us disappointed, so we blame it on the kids, that they're just not what we want them to be. I trained all those would-be heroes. Odysseus, Perseus, Theseus, a lot of yusses. And every single one of those bums let me down, flatter than a discus. But if you're gonna work with people like Master Uguay and I, then you really have to understand a little bit what makes people the way they are, and the ingredients that build them up. Heroes can be made. That's it. All you need are the right ingredients. Yeah. Bravery. Yes. Strength. Of course. Determination. Imperative. And a smidgen of DNA. Now it's a bit more than a smidgen. As David Eagleman says in this documentary on the brain, genes have a pretty big impact on us and we don't all come to the table equally. About half of the population carries a particular set of genes. And if you have these, your chances of committing a violent crime go up by 882%. So we can't presume that everyone is coming to the table equally equipped in terms of drives and behaviors. By the way, we summarize this set of genes as the Y chromosome. If you're a carrier, we call you a male. What do our genes have us destined for? You are destined for. I didn't quite hear that last part, but it sounded important. Three, two, Destined one. for what? Genes play a part, a but not the only part. Now, how much of a part that is if we rely on twin studies to try and figure that out? The way the classic twin study works is we compare identical twins who share 100% of their genes to fraternal twins who share about 50% of their genes on average. And if those twins come from similar environments, then what that suggests is that if the identical twins are more similar than the fraternal twins, then the genes are playing a role in whatever it is that we're looking at. Now, at the beginning of the semester, I asked my students to estimate what percentage of certain traits are related to genes. I found that most of the time, the students way underestimate the impact of genes on our behavior. Let's just have fun with this, come on. Me and Alexandra are two twin sisters that were accidentally separated at birth. One was raised in Sacramento, California, and one was raised in Norway. They were brought together later in their life to meet each other. She's been with Alexandra night and day, and yet, they just want to be together. And I would think that that just speaks to the genetic factor. They're so much alike, they're so much in tune with each other that they want to be together. Here's a great scientific experiment. These two were raised apart, but Alexandra was raised with two sisters. Yes. And how similar is she to her, to her two sisters? Oh, she will pick up some something from them. Uh-huh. And learn, of course, uh, some um, behavior. Uh -huh. But uh, when I see them now, they are more alike than she will be alike. Yes. Her sisters at home. Yeah. Mm. And see, there are four big personality traits that have been extensively studied through twin studies. As you can see, the genetic influence ranges somewhere between 40 and 60%. And happiness itself has a 50% genetic influence, so it has a pretty big influence on who we True. are. So the bottom line is this. He is never going to be you. We just have to help him be himself. So stop thinking that you can just mold somebody dream like Clay. Control. It really just does you not work like that. With unfathomable power. What kind of power? Unfathomable. It's unf without fathom. Wow. You're gonna get frustrated just like this. All your gifts all your powers and you you squander them for your own personal gain yes in my next video i'm going to be talking about the effects of environment on who we a become much different fate awaited me 
just a reminder for Master Ugwe to like and subscribe so that you can keep getting some of our awesome videos and learn more about the way people work. If I was the bad boy, then I was going to be the baddest boy of them all. <laughs>